Today might seem like a normal everyday day and kind of is, just got done dropping the boys off at daycare and summer camp. Um, but it's a very different day. This is a day that has been just years in the making. It's, it's here, it's, it's here, it's here. I, ah, it's here. I'm resigning today. I'm putting my two, two weeks, I got two weeks left at Computer Aid and then it's like, it's me, it's all on me. It's Walter Creative full time, no more job. No more nine to five. No more showing up for the stuff that I don't want to do that like makes me so depressed and sad and just dark and it's over. It's done. There's no more of that. So I'm excited, but I gotta hurry because I'm running late. Because I'm always running late. So I gotta go. Oh, but but also real quick. There's this there's this sense of just urgency in like life. Like it's on me in two weeks. In in, in two weeks. It's all on me, 100% on me, to be able to provide for my family, to be able to find the job, to do the work, take care of everything with the clients. Like, there's no more show up and take a day off and still get paid for it. Like, I work and get paid, or I don't get paid. This is real, like, this is real. It's happening, it's happening. I, I was gonna do the thing where like, I got this envelope, something's in this envelope, the cool Jack Conti thing, but um, I, let's face it, I don't have time for that. Like, I don't even have the letter yet. The letter's not done yet. I still gotta write the letter, and then hand it in and make everyone sad. And I feel a little bad about that. It's like a bad breakup, kind of, where like, you know it's gonna crush the other person, but you know it's gonna be so much better for you in the end. Like, yeah, this is, this is breakup day. Yeah, breakup day. So pumped. <laughs> this look should be pretty familiar by now. Got work in the background there. Gotta do one thing in there. I have to do some stuff today. <laughs> Ironically, I have to sit through four hours of training for a product that I'm never going to use because today's a breakup day. Ah! I'm so pumped. <laughs> Let's do this thing. <laughs> Sorry, Cody, I stole that from you. But I, it's a good line. I like that line. I like a lot of things today. Taking a quick break from just further confirmation that I need to bounce from this place. <laughs> it's a two hour training, two of four, so the first half of a four hour training. Um, and I just, <laughs> just brain dead, mind numb, like take all the excitement I had this morning and then see this right now and understand that this is after taking 10 minutes to kind of like recover myself. Yeah, it was flat line. <sighs> still need to turn in the notice. It's coming, I still need to write it as well, but before any of that, I need to run back to my mom's house because I need to print a shirt real quick for Cody. He is working on trademark, um, getting the trademark for hashtag no small creator. And um, the product is one of those things, I guess, that proof of product is helps get you the trademark. So I need to print that off for him real quick, put it in a poly bag, put a nice little sticker on it with the hashtag no small creator logo and then um back here there's there's a rumor that the second half of the training is going to get canceled because we've got through all the material it would just be for questions i don't have any in the event that i do need to be back i have about 45 minutes uh, not sure that's enough time so uh, i'm going to boogie and uh, I'm, fe see, I'm feeling better already. Can you tell? Can you tell the demeanor just like over the past minute that I've been talking? Like, can you see the difference? It's, I'm out of the building. I'm, I'm a different person. This is gonna be so good. It's gonna be so good. All right, I'm here back at my mom's house. Need to print off a shirt real quick. So first I gotta find one from this giant pile of boxes and blanks and all that good stuff. Then I've gotta track down a clear plastic, we call them poly bags in the industry, little industry term, um, just for packaging. And then I gotta figure out how to get a sticker label printed. I know how to do them, but I need to figure out if there are labels and then the whole debacle with printers and computers and what works and doesn't and making sure it's the right size and prints on the label and all that good stuff. That's what we're going to do now. Got a shirt. It's a tight squeeze in here. Very economical use of space. I'm going to run upstairs and see if I can't track down a label and a good way to print 
said label in the poly bags you need to find poly bags all right so this is the right type of box it says two mil poly bags look at that poly bag shirt goes in here then you put a little sticker on it a little branding thing hold it all together i don't know why i use that voice that was weird don't mind the boxes it's the storage area all right got a bag now i need to make a label that uh lights going out effect would have been a lot cooler if the light switch turned all the lights off and not just most of them also you may notice i'm wearing a different shirt that's because the ink i'm about to use just it's plastisol and if it gets on it it's stain unless you use the plastisol remover and i don't know if we have any downstairs anymore or not we may have used it all and not replaced it so i'm just you know no risks that's that's a nice shirt it's a nice little button up probably not going to wear it nearly as often Definitely won't wear it nearly as often in a couple weeks here, but um, it's a nice shirt. You need to keep it looking nice. <laughs> My mom had extra ink. <laughs> that whole thing, the very first day we tried to make shirts, sure didn't have to be a thing. She had extra ink. All right, normally this is not the type of label I would use. I'd use a skinny long one, but beggars can't be choosers. Let's do some printing. I can feel the heat. I can feel it. It's coming from this heater. So let's get the shirt printed. Then we get the label printed. Poly bag, poly sticker stickered, and then out the door. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> All right, shirt's done. Now I gotta unplug this heater so I don't burn my mama's house down while no one's here. That's always the biggest moment of panic when you're leaving printing, at least for me. Back up here to make this label, hopefully. It's success, but barely. All right, gotta take some pictures, gotta wrap it, gotta leave, because I'm 18 minutes for this meeting. Good news, just got the notification email that the second half of the training at 12 o'clock was canceled. A few more minutes here, and then I gotta type, write, type up, print out, hand in, said notice. For any aspiring t-shirt makers, printers, distributors, the flip fold, lifesaver. It's just so fast, it's just done. I gotta get changed. Okay, I'm done at my mom's house. Gotta head out. Printed the letter, it's official, it's printed. I guess it's not official till uh, I hand it in. It's not quitting as much as moving on. And I am quitting my job, but moving on to bigger and better. I also want to talk about this. Uh, it's like a breakup thing. Because I want to clarify. I think a lot of times ending a job is like a breakup. I mean, there's all different versions, all different types. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's amicable, sometimes it's bad. Sometimes they're screaming and things are thrown at each other. Um, so that part I think is pretty universal. Most times you quit a job, it's it's got a lot of that same tension, a lot of the same dynamics. Um, but this is more of like that bittersweet one where you know that you're just going to, I mean, crush might not be the right word. That may be thinking of myself a little too highly, but um, very much sadden and disappoint the other party. Um, I don't care about the company itself. And I hope that doesn't come across as too brash or brazen or whatever it may be, but I, I don't. I, the, the company doesn't care about me. I'm a warm body in a seat and uh, I don't care about it, but I do care about my manager. Um, Renee has been my manager for almost four years now and she's gone to bat for me. She's fought battles for me. She fought to get me out of recruiting and into the BA role and the developer role and has just given me a lot of latitude. And she cares about me and Adrian and, and the boys. I know she's going to understand, but at the same time, you know it's gonna hurt and sting. And I do like, it's not gonna be a complete shock. Like it's not like a Survivor style season 36 blindside. Cause if you haven't been watching Survivor, like the new age player is just like on a completely different level from the first 15, 20 seasons. I think she knows it's coming. She knows I'm happy I've been for a long time. So she knows that's where I'm at. Uh, but at the same time, it's not gonna be fun. Um, so I just need to, you know, yank the bandaid off and get this over with. 
because I know the other side is a bright, bright future, and I know staying where I am is just, I can't even, ugh, I can't even imagine being there in 20 years, like who I would be and what I would look like, and that's, I don't want to ever be that, ever, 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 ever. So, heading back in, hopefully I can track Renee down. Let's do this thing. And drink coffee, always, always drink coffee. <clears throat> One thing I am realizing is I have no idea how to initiate this conversation. I don't, I don't know that there's any good way to start it. Is it just like, hey Renee, do you have a minute? I'm quitting. <laughs> hey Renee, do you have, do you have a minute? Um, you know, I just want to start by saying like, things. You know, you've been a great manager. I think at that point you can just say I'm quitting. That's one of those opening lines that is unmistakable. But I'm also not leaving for another job. Is it just like? Hey, Renee, I'm quitting. I want to go work for myself now. <laughs> I mean, I mean that's the truth, but um I don't know. I don't know how to I don't know how to say this. I don't know. I I don't know how to do this. But I'm going to have to figure it out soon cuz I need to walk in and do it and take care of it and just be done with it. Hopefully I figure something out between now and and, and the doors. All right. Wish me luck. So I just lost that entire thing because my mic wasn't on, so let's hit the reset. The whole time I was walking out from the building and talking, there's nothing there. I don't even care. It's done. It's in July 22nd. I'm out of here. Last day. Um, unbelievable. I just can't. There's so many thoughts and, and feelings and emotions and like, and, and the conversation went so well. And, and like the reason why I was so worried about it and, and concerned because I didn't want to let Renee down and her feel like she was being abandoned or anything like that after all she's done for me was the exact same reason the conversation went incredibly. Um, yeah, she's she was excited. She was happy. Like not <laughs> not what I was expecting. Go back to like I wasn't sure how to start the conversation. It was the hey. <laughs> Did go with the hey, and then the so. But then it was you know for the past year and a half I've been working on building websites at night and uh, trying to build up that client list. And I, it's at the point now where I I can't keep up with the work, and I've just I've just got to do it, and I just need to to go full time there. And I know I didn't say it quite like that, but that was the idea of like, I let her know like, you know, I'm not leaving for another place. Like I'm gonna go do my own thing. Um, and she's so excited and, and happy for me. And she just congratulated me and is excited. Like it says it's the right thing for me to do. Ah, it's so cool, man. We're doing it. We're doing it. This is this, this is such a great day. Such a great day. I don't, I don't want to go back in that building. I'm going to, because there's some work I got to do and some emails I can send out. Oh, I'm so pumped. So pumped. Ah. It went really well. I was kind of surprised, I guess. I mean, it's nuts. Yeah, which ironically is when they finish the floors. That's it. We are notice given. Two weeks in. Renee has notified all of the development center managers. Everyone's in the know. I'm on the outs. Um, just can't believe we're here, finally, finally. It's been, it's year, literally years in the making. I mean, Adrian, Ethan, at a local pizza shop to celebrate. It's a, it's a more upscale pizza shop, so it's not. I love mom and pop pizza, don't get me wrong. A little more upscale to celebrate such a momentous day. It deserves celebration. Um, just so thankful to Adrian being on my side. Um, and just believing in me and putting up with everything and, and giving me the opportunity to prove myself that this is a real thing and it's not just one of my cockamamie schemes like I mean it, I'm serious, I'm good at it, I'm gonna do it. Um, and we're there and just super thankful um, just for her support. It's happening. It's happening. It's a celebration of this great day. Gonna get some great food. Local spot, pizza grill. Two of my three favorite people in the world. Sorry, Gavin. It's not here today. But the other two are They're coming. She don't like that at all. Historically, over the past month, month and a half, I've been doing this, the vlog thing. 
I've been awful with outros, but today feels like a day that I need to make sure that I that I grab one. This is one of those times that <laughs> it needs some type of period or some type of punctuation at the end of it. Like I can't leave this hanging. Like this this huge day where I turned in my notice at work. I have two weeks left. I'm gonna go start my own business, my own company full time. Um, and I can't just like leave it at, okay, we're gonna get pizza. If for all intents and purposes, I'm done. And that's awesome and exciting. And the future is exciting and I get to do what I want to do, which is bonkers crazy. But the reality is it is going to be hard work. And you know, I've been waking up at four or 4.30 every morning to work for a couple hours before I get started on my day. And that's hard work. And then I go to my job. You know, I was clocking good 10 hours a day. I don't know that the number of hours will be the same. They might be, they might be more, might be less. But the quality of those hours is just gonna have to get just like ramped up. And that's the reality. Like the reality is the idea of entrepreneurship and owning a business is, is glamorized and romanticized in 2018 in America. But it's hard work. And and I've had a taste. Yeah, I've been, I've been doing it on the side. So I have a taste. I have an idea of how hard it is. But I also don't know how hard it is. Um, but the beauty is like, that just fires me up. Like I, I want to take that on. And that's why I'm so confident um, and so excited is because no matter what comes at me, like, uh, I just want to take it on. Like, I want to do it. I'm, I just want to do it. And I'm so excited to be here today. Like the full time I am a business owner starts. It starts today and it really starts in two weeks. And um, I know I said this before, but like, I can't thank my wife enough for her support and for backing me and for believing in me. Let's do it. Good news, the mic was on. I had a panic, like I panicked right there. I thought I forgot to turn the mic on again and I lost all that and I was going to, have to do it again and get stuck even more in this awful traffic behind me not being able to go. So, <laughs> everything, it's all, it's all good today. Walter Creative, don't forget Walter Creative, website waltercreative.design. There's a lot of Walter Creatives out there. Make sure it's that .design, that one's mine. Um, and we'll be on all the socials soon. If you wanna find me, it's a Chris Walter pretty much everywhere. Definitely Twitter, definitely Instagram. Um, when I get enough subscribers on YouTube, that'll be my YouTube channel. Um, but waltercreative.design, link below. Come check us out.